What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so... In our last episode, we went through quite a bit of few things, and uh, we managed to get ourselves a Dawnstone to finish up this episode. Now, if you guys don't know, the Dawnstone is a very unique item to evolve certain Pokemon in Generation 4 and above, and we do have a Pokemon that needs that. Now, before... I finished off last episode, I told you guys that I kind of wanted to be a little strategic about how I do things with with Curlia going into Gallade. In the last Pokemon Platinum walkthrough that I did about three years ago, many of you guys have been getting on my case about, well, why are you using special attacks? It's a physical attacker. It's this, it's that. Yes, I heard you guys. I heard you complaining. And I had to educate myself a little on both Gallade and Gardevoir. And it turns out that, yeah, I was I, my mindset was out there for some reason. Now, I did check up its stats, I did check up on what it learns going into, you know, Gallade and all that stuff. So, here's the deal guys, our Pokemon is at level 24, or 23 I should say, and in the next level, by t level 25, let me just go ahead and go back to the handbook right here, by level 25, Curlia learns Calm Mind, and by level 31, it should be at Psychic, but that's if you don't evolve it. That's kind of what I did in the last walkthrough. Now, if it's at a Guard Devour, by level 33, it learns Psychic. Now, if you evolve it before level 25 into Gallade, at level 25, you'll be able to learn... You'll be able to learn Swords Dance, which is a buff for, you know, your physical attacks. And, of course, Psycho Cut at level 31. And I'm pretty sure that's what many of you guys wanted and all that stuff. We've already, le we've already passed level 22, which was, a, which was a level that it would learn, what was it, Slash. So, big whoop. It is what it is. But we got the Dawnstone. Let's go ahead and use it. And finally evolve our Curlia right here. So, there it is, guys. The mission is complete. Now we can actually use the experience here and use this Pokemon properly. Trust me, guys. We're going to be doing better in this walkthrough. Look at this. Here it is. Gallade. This Pokemon is a monster. It is a monster. And the only way you can evolve Curlia into Gallade is if it's a male. So just be aware of that, guys. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Gallade. So, after evolving into Gallade... You got a Psychic and Fighting type capability. It does have a cap careful nature, and what goes up now is its physical attacks, and what goes down is the special attacks. It's much more of a special defensive person right here, and it does have the ability Steadfast, which raises the speed each time the Pokemon flinches, which is uh, which could be a bit of a you know big, big uh, you know upside for uh, Gaia number two. So. Now that we've evolved this Pokemon, let's go right ahead and give it a good move, which is Brick Break. A move that, yes, we're going to definitely need for this next one. So, Gaia number two, let's get you Brick Break. Let's go ahead and replace... Yeah, let's... we got to replace one of these special moves, so let's go ahead and replace Confusion, because by level 31, it will learn a Psychic-type move worth using. And, uh, well... With that being the case, let's go right ahead and take this experience here, and uh, let's go ahead and give that to our good old buddy, Gallade, so it can start, you know, doing things. You know, great things, big things, all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and give this Shell Bell to a Pokemon that gets damaged normally. Uh, let's go with Togepri, and then a Quick Claw to this guy right here, Poseidon. So, anywho, here we are in Pastoria City. Home of the 5th Gym Battle, and uh, home of the Great Marshes. As many of you guys already know, I hate the Great Marsh. It's probably one of the one of the biggest things that, you know, just led me to not... Or to led me to dislike uh, the Sinnoh region, because, you know, it's already slow as it is, and this makes it just so much slower. You guys already saw... You know, you guys already saw, like, a quick preview of how the Quick Mar... Or the Great Marshes will, can be. So, this guy right here is like, in the Great Marsh, quick trams on the rails are used for transportation. So they prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem, which it's pretty much a, you know, a train away from the Great Marsh, because apparently the Great Marsh is, you know, I guess, important and all that stuff. And we got a few berries, so let's go right ahead and grab these berries. Let's go ahead and grab this. There it is. Don't you guys love it that Draven is being strategic? He's being very strategic. He should be proud of me. 
See, Draven does learn. Dra Draven does listen to you guys' uh, comments down below. The good, the bad, and the worst, and all that stuff. So don't worry. Hey, you, uh, let's see. Have you caught both male and female combi? If you have, I want to see the both of them together. I'll give you a macho brace if you do that for me. Deal? Now, combi is a detail. Like, is a very interesting Pokemon. Only female evolves and grows strong. The male does not. Come to think of it, my wife was awfully strong too. She evolved from my bride to the mother of our kids. Wow. If that wasn't a shot to your wife, I don't know what is. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. Here, where I am standing, I'm smack dab in the middle of town. Hmm. That could be true. Now, if you go in here, you can talk to this guy. I have to go to Selassie on town for, big, for my big brother. The newspaper there gives me the hard scales for running errands. Okay, now, if you talk to this guy right here... You're gonna need, this is the Move Maniac or the Move Tutor. You're gonna need some Move Scale or some uh, Pokemon Scales or some Heart Scales in order to te teach your Pokemon some moves. And uh, yeah, Heart Scales don't really come easy. So just be aware of all that stuff right there. And uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else? I think we can go, oh actually, you know what? I think we forgot about this spot right here. There could be an item right here somewhere. Let's see. I do have my uh, handy dandy Oh, there it is. Okay, so right here. Right here. Let's see, it's right here somewhere. Holy crud. Yeah, there could be a hidden item right here. So it's right here. Here we found ourselves a zinc, which is useful for us. And, well, I think it's time for us to go to the Pokemon Gym because, yes, you know, the Pokemon Gym is always nice for us. And, well, before we go in there, this this guy right here, I swear to God. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not always going to plow onto you every time we meet. So, uh, how's it going, Draven? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon to see how buff and tough you are. So, here it is, guys. Another another battle against this guy right here. Barry, our best friend. Yeah, I do not like this dude. Not one bit. Do not like him. So we're going to be going up against him, and well, we're going to be taking that Intimidate, but we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. He does have a level 4 Staravia. Going with a double team, little does he know, yes, we got Shockwave, which will hit anything and everything. And Gaia is growing to level 24. Here comes Ponyta. So let's go with Poseidon, and go with a Spaghetti and Meatballs bubbly attack right here. Why aren't we hitting this? What the hell? What the hell's going on right here? Okay, let's go with Brian. What the hell's going on? Oh, we're flinching! The hell? Okay, you're going down. Dig attack. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I didn't even see that coming. So here comes a Grottle. So let's go with Togepi. Now that it's buffed up and ready to go, here's a Fire Blast, and let's go with one more Fire Blast. He didn't see that coming. Coming with the Buisel. Let's go with Rosemon, and finish this guy off with Magical Leaf. That's right, throwing you the middle finger, because I hate you. I hate you with a passion. Anywho, <laughs> yeah, maybe you did get a bit tougher to, since the last time. That even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got uh, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Like, I want to do my own theme song. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I, somehow I just don't believe that. So anywho, I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta heal up the Pokemon and uh, yeah take care of a few wounds and all that stuff so I'll be right back guys okay so here we are back and well we're gonna be going into the next gym which is a home to Crasher Wake and well talk to this guy he's like the gym leader wake uh, I mean Crasher Wake is a master water type Pokemon I'd say you got the guts if you try to face down water types with fire type or fire or ground types but but that part I'll leave up to you go and have some good battles okay so we're going to be taking on Crasher Wake. This guy does have a Gyarados, Quagsire, and Floatzel. One's at level 33, the other one's at level 34, and the other one's at level 37. So yeah, you you got the you're going to be you're going to be in for some battles right here, guys. So, my suggestion to you, get yourself some grass types, get yourself some electric types, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully just hopefully uh, the best will happen. So let's go right ahead and start battling everybody right here. And he's coming out with the Bibarel, so there we go. And this guy's gonna be going with the yeah, a rollout attack, so 
Just be aware that water type Pokemon are very, very offensive and yeah, you just don't want to get hit by everything that it, it comes with. So what you need to do is you need to hit the buttons in order to fill up tanks of water right here and it will lead you to the next area and as you guys can see, we're not really... Uh, oh wow, okay, so it looks like to me we didn't go to the right area so we have to go fill this up and where will this go? Let's see. Oh yeah. So we're going here, and don't tell me that we just got to the gym leader. Holy crud. Okay, let's battle this guy. I really don't care. We need to increase our levels just a little bit, and as you guys can see, Whiskash is a Pokemon that is kind of like a monkey wrench. It just... It's that kind of Pokemon that you think you're going to hit it with an Electric-type attack, and no, you need Grass-type Pokemon. This is where our good old buddy Rosemont comes in, and Gaia has learned, or has gotten to level 25, so now it can learn Swords Dance, a very good move. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to take away, we're going to take away that Teleport because we don't really need it. And, well, let's go ahead and move on right here. So, let's see, we are stranded, maybe? No, uh, before we hit that yellow button, let's go ahead and battle this guy and continue battling in speed motion right here. So here is another monkey wrench if you have grass type Pokemon. So let's go back to Electro Star right here and let's go with a shockwave. And just like that, we take uh, we take care of that Pokemon and shockwave does it again. Electro Star grows to level 31. And then we're going to hit this blue button. As you guys can see, everything starts rising up. We've already defeated this kid. Now we got this kid right here waiting for us. So let's go right ahead, continue the battle. Now here's a funny, uh, fun fact. Azuril is not really a water type Pokemon. It's still a normal type for some reason. And yeah, we got to go with Giga Dream because this guy is just hitting us with rollout. So let's go with this. Save our Giga Drains because we're going to be needing those things. And take it on this guy. He's like, I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. Okay. Let's go. Take it on Goldeen. Magical Leaf does the trick. And here comes Gyarados. Now this is a this is a Pokemon you really need an electric type for because Shockwave will do it. And well, here comes level 26 Gaia. And you know what? Let's continue on with more Shockwaves right here. And that Fury Attack will hit us. There we go. And yes, it doesn't really matter if you caught the mini fish. I still beat you. And well, this one will open up this section right here. And well, let's see. This is kind of a monkey wrench too. Yeah, we need to go back right here. So I'm assuming that you have to go right here. And this one will lead us down here. Closer and closer to the gym leader. And it will go right up to this portion right here to this sailor dude so let's go ahead and continue our a little onslaught and this is not the pokemon we need to go up again so let's go right here bite attack don't know why i did that and here comes a shellos as many of you guys already know shellos is both a ground and water type pokemon so that right there is another pokemon you need to keep an eye out for and well let's go ahead and go with more magical leaves and just like that we win alrighty so let's go ahead, press this up, and this one will lead us to Crash Awake. And I think we've already battled this guy. Yes, we have. So what's going to happen is, let's see, i got to heal up my Pokemon because, yeah, these Water-type trainers have a way of getting to you, especially with Misty when you battle her. And there we go. And let's go ahead and save this game. And one last thing. Let's go right ahead. And switch out to Electro Star because I have a feeling this guy might be doing something pretty crazy. So here is Crash Awake. Welcome! I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are, are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon were tough enough by stormy white waters. They'll take e everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. So here it is, guys. Gym Battle number five against Crash Awake and this guy yeah he, he he looks like he's ready for the WWE so here he comes out with Gyarados so we're both gonna be intimidating each other and what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna charge up and there we go special attack and here we go again and shockwave for the win just like that so that was a bit of a risky move to do 
And Gaia grows to level 27 without doing anything. Here comes Quagsire, so let's go right ahead and go with Rosemond. Now, with Quagsire, I'm gonna do his Toxic Spikes. And here comes a... well, here comes the Rock Tomb. So let's go with Giga Drain. Now, the reason why I'm laying down those spikes is because of the next Pokémon, Floatzel. That Pokémon is as cheap as they come. They like to... yeah, it's a very fast Pokémon that you just don't want to mess around with. And I kind of just want to, like, you know, get it a... yeah, get it, get it down, get it poisoned before we even start. So, here comes Floatzel, and, well, it is now poisoned because of those poison spikes. Yes, strategy by Draven. How's it feel to fail? Let's go with the Giga Drain, and here comes an Ice Fang as coverage and crap assets on a Crapsicle Stick. Okay, so, yeah, Float Cell is not messing around. Here you go with Electro Star. And, yes, we're intimidating you, so, let's see, Brian Attack. Yeah, it's getting hurt by Poison, so that takes away two Pokemon right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and do this. Let's go Swords Dance. There we go. And let's go with a Brick Break. Just like that, and... <laughs> strategy by Draven. <laughs> so there it is. Just like that, Gaia number two comes in with Clutch. Yes. Look at that. Seems the, seems the Undertool pulled me under. But I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the fifth gym badge. All because we've been strategic. So here it is. You need that fan badge to use the hidden move Surf outside of battle. This is a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. And here it is. We get ourselves a TM55. That right there is a brine. It inflicts double damage on targets less than half their HP left. Use it at the uh, to end battles decisively. The styles of battling. Or wait, let's see. The styles of battling and winning are widely varied as trainers are. Do you want to know how I battle? I battle so that I can have fu uh, had fun at the end whenever I win or lose. Well, you guys already saw how I battled. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys are impressed. Yes, I listened. I listened to you guys. So, after all that BS, something's happening. Something is afoot. And, well... Oh, hey! You got the, you got the gym badge here, huh? What'd I tell you, Mr. Wake? I mean, the Master is pretty awesome, hey? And, well, Crash Wake's gonna be stepping outside, he's gonna be like... What's that racket, then? Oh, it's you two. And this kid is like, oh, Master! Listen, kid, I know your father, I won't deny that, but I won't, I don't, I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not at, not in the least. Besides, you don't need me. You become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter, I made you my Master, I decided. But forget that, there's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic Goon in the front of the Observatory Gate. He said something about using a bomb. What? No one messes with Pastoria, not even on my watch. Okay. Hey, Master, wait! See, even Crasher Wake denies this kid. Yeah, okay, so... Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon, and uh, we'll take care of what's going on right here in the Observatory Gate. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and, well... This kid right here, he's like, does my new outfit look good or what? Krogunk is where it's at. Huh. Now, talk to Crash Wake, he's gonna be like, uh, Hey! What am I, chopped liver? Don't forget that I'm here too! Everybody doesn't like you, Barry. Go away. So, where's that Galact- the Team Galactic- Oh, boom. There is a big boom, and that big boom doesn't sound so good. <laughs> that was rough. You! What have you done? What have I done? You're talking well, technically speaking, it wasn't me. The package said arrive, see, that was a bomb named the Galactic Bomb. Me, I was told to push the button, so I did like poink. Oh, that's right, mustn't forget the test results there need reporting. Cheerio then, you daft uh, conjure your mask absurd. What the heck? What the hell is he saying? Okay. That great marsh is invaluable. You two, do, do not follow me. Don't let anyone in either. There'd be big trouble if there is any, uh, any of the bomb left. Okay, and well, he's like, Barry's not gonna listen. He's gonna be like, hey, Draven, you go after the Galactic Goon. I'm staying here with the master, like the master said. Gotta keep others from going in. Don't let that Galactic guy get away. Hmm. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take care of business before we check out our badges and all that stuff. And there he is. He's like, what's with you? Stop chasing after me. I have half a mind to pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to go be on my way to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky I'm out. All right, do I make myself clear? Don't you dare follow me. 
I do what I want. And, well, we're going to be following this guy all the way right here. And he's going to be like, we needed that energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific mechanical genius. And, oh, gah, you were eavesdropping. I was thinking that out loud. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Huh. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue following this dude. This guy is like... You know, he's going to get tired pretty soon right here, so let's go right ahead and find him. And there he is. He's like, but boy, the Galactic Bomb packs a pretty big wallop. With this baby here, there's not much that we can blow up. I wonder what they would have, pla they have planned for this. Hmm. God, you eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Hmm. Okay. And, well, Looker is going to be following us. He's like, hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic brought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo, it was a bomb? And there was an explosion? The explosion was at the Great Marsh? Furthermore, you are pursuing a man, a man with a funny bowl haircut, you know, an Edgar haircut, an outfit that is very strange. In other words, that is Team Galactic. Oh, no, no, no. How did I miss this? Oh, looker, or ah, looker, this time you have made a big mistake of the ages. The man who I have been running, or who has I've seen running away, he had, he was the bearer of the bomb. Ugh. This will not do. Wait, wait, I say. Oh, okay, so we're going to be following this guy, and, uh... Well, where can this guy be? He's going to be up here somewhere. He must be tired already. And, uh, well, Looker is going to be like, Ah, oh, my friend, it's you! Yes, I am at this hotel now. I am interviewing the people who to see if they have seen anyone suspicious. I would like your assistance. Go out, go search outside if you will. The suspect, he may be already slipped away ahead of notice. Okay. So let's go right ahead and find this uh, this gentleman. He's not really a gentleman, but you know what I mean. And, well, we see him. And he is going to be right here. He's going to be like, <sighs> Why am I running away like this? Anyway, the New World Order, the new universe our boss was talking about. It's making me giddy thinking about it when we use this thing. Oh, wow. God, you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent, too. I'm pooped out from running on. But I'm not. I'm going to battle you. Oh, yeah, he's not going to battle me. Yeah, we're going to be battling, okay? Whether you like it or not. And, well, he's going to be like, Ah, oh, no. You're still on my tail. The leg's within sight. You leave me no, no, no choice. My Pokemon will KO you. So, here we go. We're going to be battling. And... It's against a Team Galactic Grunt. He only has one Pokemon, and yes, it's a Krogunk. So let's make do with this. Pluck attack. Pluck attack again, and that's how you do it. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Huh. <sighs> Didn't run away. I could have battled earlier. Okay, so what do you have to say for yourself? I can't battle anymore. I'm running on fumes. I'll give you this to, to, the, uh, to the commander. I wish I got to use this at the lake. Okay, so he is not happy, and... Uh, well, would you look at that? Mm, 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 mm. Cynthia, you look uh, precious. Uh, you look beautiful the more I see you. Oh, hello, long time no see. How is your Pokedex feeling up? I came to the research, uh, I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island inside the lake, and inside the island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. And uh, Barry, holy crud. Seriously, man. I, I swear to God. Hey, Draven, where'd that galactic goon run off to? Huh? Is this your older sister? No, she isn't. Oh, okay. Um, the explosion in the Great Marsh. It wasn't anything serious. Mr. Wake told me to tell you that. But the Team Galactic... Wow. Are they out of control or what? Next time I see them, I'll teach them a lesson they will ever forget. See you around. Yeah, I want to smack that kid so badly, but whatever. He's your friend. No, he's not. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? Yeah. So, getting back to what I was starting to say earlier. Have you seen a group of Psyduck uh, on Route 210? Yes, I have. Yes, that, that's right. By the cafe on Route 210, you've seen a group of Psyduck huddled in their heads, uh, in their, well, hands. Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine for the Psyduck. You're working on the Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves a secret potion. I went, to a, I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger, and I hoped that you would meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. 
It may help you with your Secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anywho, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Now, we do have access to getting to Route 210. But what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be taking a side quest into, I guess, the big-ass mansion that's close by Pastoria. Yeah, we're going to be taking on a, quite a few trainers, doing a few things. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as possible. If you guys want to support the channel, yeah, we got merch right down there. And if you guys have any suggestions for merch, just comment down below and let me know, and uh, I will make it happen. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in Sinnoh. See you guys.